think they can let us jump with this book? It's not in your head. Oh, the rubber bands? This is uh, 210. Yo, seriously, are you about to jump with a book in your hand off a plane right now? Are you crazy? Well, hear me out. The story starts two years ago. Two years ago, I came across a book that really had a positive impact on my life. And as I was reading, I realized that the book was written by a guy named Russ. He's an American rapper and he was coming to Seattle for a concert. I had a crazy idea. What if I can interview Russ when he comes to Seattle? So I bought two tickets to his concert and I came up with a plan. But then COVID spiked again and his concert got rescheduled, which gave me a whole year to procrastinate until the last minute to get this video to you. So here's the plan. Mission one, jump with Russ's book in my hand off a plane. Hell yeah. Mission one, done. Mission two, go out in public, interview people, and see who's cool, and give them a free copy of his book. What the fuck am I doing with my life right now? We're out here in the wild in Seattle in Gasworth Market. We're trying to find people to talk to about their fucking dreams, and nobody is talking to us. You wanna tell us all your dreams? About my dream? Like, not the one from last night. But... Okay, because I was like, I didn't have one. <laughs> Never mind. What's up, man? Is that your dream to be a photographer full time? Well, yeah, I'm already doing it, but I wanna go back on tour and like uh -huh. eventually do documentaries, like that's the end goal. For now, man, I'm just having fun with music. What type of music here do you make? I just wrote a song like a day ago. Uh -huh. It's my first one. I can play a little bit. Yeah, I would love to. You sing too? I do, but I'm not gonna, I think I'm gonna keep this instrument. Yo, I have a book for you. Have you heard about Russ? Russ? Brad he makes Brad. music too. Yeah. Come to Seattle, I don't know. So this is for you, man. And I hope you share your music with us. I just want to have a job that I can be happy. Yeah. And I have, I, I, where I can get enough money to live without problems, you know? My dream is to grow organs. Grow organs? Yeah, I'm a tissue engineer. It's it's sad, you know, because you think about little kids. Mm -hmm. When they're growing up, they have these pictures like Ferraris and where they want to live and they want to be a superhero and they want to do all these crazy things. And there's somewhere along the lines, you know, like in that high school, college, getting out of college where you know now people are fired up by a Honda when they had you know Ferraris on their on their on their on their wall. People are start chipping away at their dreams and their self-confidence and people's self-image starts to get lower and lower and lower. Mm -hmm. And they stop dreaming. Man, dude, thank you. Awesome. Man, I appreciate yeah, that, every, brother. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. you guys are gonna interview him, I already know it. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Be bold, uh -huh. be calm, be bold. Hey man, I can interview you. <laughs> you know? He can't say no. I'll read it. Mission two, accomplished. Mission three, climb a crane or a high structure and get some drone footage asking Russ to interview. I didn't expect how hard it is going to be climbing with a whiteboard in your hand. But Vadim is a badass. This one couldn't go worse than it did. And once we're at the top, Vadim kicked the drone by mistake and it fell and we couldn't fly it. But we got super lucky and someone had a drone and we filmed it. So, mission accomplished. <laughs> now please get us to grab Russ's attention by sending this video everywhere. Tag him on social media accounts, Twitter, Instagram. Russ, if you're watching this on Friday after your show, let's hang out. We have two tickets, we're gonna come and we would love to meet you and interview you. Let's go, peace. Yo Russ, we jumped on a plane, climbed a crane, gave some people books in the rain. Don't let all of that go in vain. We're gonna feel so much pain. We just wanna interview, man, you know what I'm saying?